good new year. Um, back to this pet goat cartoon here. Now, the thing about these things is that they tantalize our curiosity. You know, if you're a thinker, you know, if you contemplate things, you observe, and you just want to know what's going on in the world, this can be very tempting. And it is a form of temptation to draw you away from the truly important things. It's important that you first understand the powers behind the workings of this world. It's critical. Absolutely critical. Once you understand the origins of these entities, spirits, You understand the whole picture. And quite frankly, it's laid out right in front of us to understand. The problem is we have the spirit that's behind things like this and all the other tantalizing things of the world that go along with it. And I always like to revert back to the simple fact. Now, it don't really matter if you're young or old. It really don't. But there's a tendency for the later years in life to reveal things to an individual that uh, they may have previously pondered and wondered about. But they are too busy acquiring things in this world. The things of this world. Well, I gotta, I gotta have a means of income. I, I gotta feed myself, and you know, I want to start a family. And I might not really understand what a family truly is, but. Something inside of me really wants one. You know, it's these things that we don't take time to recognize because they are intentionally, intentionally hidden and disfigured in such a way that you're tempted to go one way because you're discouraged and feel as though you're going to be subjected to all kinds of rules and oh gee oh man I'm gonna go to hell and there's there's a certain point that each of us who carry the seed of the woman which I'll get into here in a second that we recognize that pit that I've spoken of before the pit in your belly now I'm pushing about 50 years old I'll tell you all that it wasn't until oh boy it all probably started in my mid-thirties uh, when I had acquired a, a, a quote career and you know I had money and a beautiful woman yada yada yeah I know what that means but there's always something missing we're always striving for Something that just isn't filling some void that we got in our 
in our belly and you can you can think of the belly as as just your gut your your inner self we're searching because there's something missing or we're we can't we we can't find our inner self all these things have meaning but we're so just we're fish man and and there's a lot of fishermen that are just looking to hook you and to bleed you and to deceive you and to take everything they can from you both physically mentally and spiritually you live in a prison and I'm gonna attempt to explain how and why how did you get in this prison and why are you here and why do I have such a huge pit in my belly that I just can't seem to fill and all these cool magical fantastical little things that these people put in front of us to lead us down empty paths now I'm gonna get biblical on y'all but you wanna listen up because this isn't I don't think anything that most folks and even your average Christian I have to say uh, that many Christian brethren of mine that just can't wrap their heads around this even though it is right before our very eyes undeniably I mean the scripture if you believe okay this is important if you believe that the Bible is the preserved word of the all-knowing all-seeing creator God then you should read it again and I'm talking about from the beginning all right and I'm gonna attempt to help you and if there's just one just one of y'all that that gets what I'm trying to tell you here and I keep telling you I ain't a preacher I don't know why I've come to know this but I know it and it's very difficult for me to discuss these things with people who consider themselves to be well versed and they are well versed I mean they can tell you the address of any verse you can think of and man I can't tell you nothing I can just tell you hey man I know that's in the Bible well, give me a book, chapter, and verse. It's somewhere in here. It's uh, Corinthian. Or... You know what, man? I've never been led to know those things. It's just never been important in my, what I consider, short tenure in the studying and the understanding and the knowledge of the mysteries of the Bible I can't explain it to y'all I just know these things and I've learned them and I want to share them with y'all and I'm gonna attempt to do that and it includes all this type of stuff too man this world is and isn't what you think you gotta be turned upside down and I'm going to try and show you what that means. And hopefully you stick around and work with me. Because I ain't perfect. I can't tell you that more than that. I just ain't, man. I'm just trying to plug along like everybody else. I want to understand why, how, where, maybe even when. 
we came to be in the condition that we're we're in on this earth and y'all know it ain't a good condition <laughs> and there's reasons for all this and once you understand the reasons why we are in the condition we're in then you can start to discover why and what it's all about and that pit in your belly in your soul starts to fill up and you just want to eat more and more and more <laughs> trust me now I'm gonna do the best I can y'all stick around and I'll be putting up some videos here real soon peace and grace y'all many fish